All right. Well, next up, uh, we had some wines from Austin from Petit Tudvin, and this is a uh, distributor. It's got some good stuff from Peter Wagland, and you know Austin should know better than to come in the store and bring stuff that's on a closeout list that's not very good. You know, when I looked at him and I said, "This isn't very good," he goes, "Yeah, I know, but it's cheap." And I said, "Well, yeah, that doesn't work here at the Wine Watch, okay? That's why we taste the wine." All right. Well, they do have some good things, like I said, and. Well, not a lot good to talk about here. I guess, you know, when my mama said, if you don't have anything good to say, you shouldn't say anything at all. So we'll just skim through some of the highlights here. Were there any highlights? Let's see. Oh, the Domain Albert Mann Riesling. That wasn't bad. You know, a bit funk and a bit earthy on the nose there. So that peach and tangerine-like citrus fruit, little hibiscus flowers, a whiff of slate-like minerality there, fresh and zesty on the tongue, lemon-lime citrus. A nice, you know, finish, but short. And uh, $25.50, um, check refer back to the Trimbach offering or the Domain Weinbach offering if you're interested in Alsa wines from Alsace. Okay, next up, the Sinian Sauvignon Blanc from uh, Marlboro. Kind of a unique Sauvignon Blanc here. It had this lovely papaya and uh, green mango tropical fruit, a whiff of fresh cut grass, a note of green peppercorn spice there also, and a distinct cucumber-like aroma, which, yeah, I don't know if I've ever gotten that in wine before. Kind of really unique. And a bit of that uh, green vegetal nuance coming through on the finish, but a nice amount of tangy tropical fruit here. Pink grapefruit. Nice savory edge to the finish with a hint of sea salt. Uh, very good stuff. $25.50, maybe a little steep there. And then uh, the stuff that we hits the bottom of the scoring scale. I like the fact that people are confused about my ratings. You know, fine this is the very bottom. And whenever you see fine on a review, that means the wine's fine. The rating below that is not recommended for human consumption. So it goes from not recommended for human consumption to fine. Okay, enough said. And then uh, we had um, a Zinfandel here from... Okay, enough said about that. All right, the Broadside Cabernet actually... Okay, good would be the next level up from fine. So this wine had some nice forward fruit, little hints of black pepper spice, florally aromas. It's sweet balsamic whiff of nail polish also, which... Would indicate a slight flaw in the wine, but that, uh, just a slight, I mean, I don't know, maybe it was just the other wines that gave me this impression that nail polish that being not very good, I don't know. But uh, this wine had some nice uh, uh, notes on the toasty oak on the finish and some nice, a uh, little bit of bitterness, though. All right, next up, we've got Jeff Smith with some selections we showed at our summer white tasting at the Tower Club.